Legionnaires, Rykon here and welcome back to Permadeath 76. We are here with Akira in Sassen, in the childhood home of the Overseer, no less. In the last episode, with some hopping, skipping and jumping, we made our way through an old resort, collecting up a fair bit of scrap in the process, and we found the next journal of the Overseer here in her old home. Seemingly, the next location for us to investigate is Morgantown High School. So that works on two fronts for us. As it would seem, the first responders had an area set up at the airport close to there. And so that shall be our direction. But not before we have a proper look around Sutton. We heard voices in the last. There may yet be survivors here. Only time will tell. And for that, we must dive on in. Now, to get started today, we actually have a level up right off the bat. We are now level 10, which does mean that the leather armor that we have on at the moment, we're going to want to try and upgrade that before too long. So we need to keep that in mind as we're going forwards, that the weapons and the armor that we have, we want to make sure that we have better versions of them, because the level 1 version of a hunting rifle, for example, is going to be nothing compared to the level 10 version. So let's go ahead, have a look at this level up of ours, and we do have an unopened pack so let's see if we pull out anything interesting no matter what we're going to pick up some bubble gum which is useful to slow down our hunger and thirst okay okay man this is not a bad card 10 damage and energy resistance just when we're carrying junk we're pretty much almost always going to be carrying junk but at the same time i really do want to be grabbing another picklock although in saying that we are at max rank on the one that we owe so i think we might need to apply additional picklocks yeah so i don't think we actually level up this card we just need to have more of them to be able to unlock greater ones skeet shooter sure if we wanted to get into shotgunning that is a possibility but honestly really it's going to be all about the bows for us before too long so for now we're going to go for picklock I just do not want to miss out on anything else that could be uh, good or great. And I really want to go back to that bridge at some point. So we're going to go ahead and chuck pit lock on. So wait a second. We can't apply it? Okay, that is a problem. So how then do we increase our lock picking skill? Because we can't upgrade it. I guess the chance that we find a better card is probably there. Well, that's unfortunate. I guess we could just scrap this. Two perk coins. Used to rank up legendary perk cards. Well, damn. <laughs> I tell you what, I'm going to keep this around for now. Unfortunately, I feel like I've wasted that level up. Gosh. But hey, what can we do? We've got an extra point in perception, which is going to help us out eventually anyway. So, yeah, we'll take that for now. All right. Noob mistakes aside, we need to get going. But before we leave this place, there is a basement. And I did say we're not gonna we're not gonna take anything from here because I feel like that just feels wrong. I guess we won't take anything too personal. Things like this, for example, we'll certainly make use of. Infused soot flower tea. Yes, please. And down here we've got a bench, a nice canoe. And we do have a safe. Let's maybe pick it just to see that there isn't anything super helpful left inside. And there we go. We are in. And technical data and some old world money. We'll take the technical data. And we'll take the money as well. Everything else can stay. I don't think the overseer, even if she did come back here, would have much use for any of that. <laughs> We are not going to say no to Wonderglue, I can tell you that right now. Just having a look around the rest of the place here, we'll see if we can find anything else like that. But uh, yeah, I'm so disappointed that we don't have that junk shield now. Well, that's something that we can have a look at getting in the future. And I will be picking up those bow perks, but I feel like they're not going to be really worth us getting until we have access to some kind of a bow or a crossbow. Yeah. All right. Well... Let's get up and out of here for now. 
and head into Sutton proper. So there are some homes down this way that we haven't had a look at yet, but they're kind of leading us outside of the town. And, uh, well, this seems pretty well built up and we're immediately seeing a Scorch there just kind of hiding out. Okay, well, I would love, love, love to craft some more of our throwing knives, but we haven't found a uh, bench through which to do that just yet. So let's look at moving on up. You kind of saw us then, didn't you? I thought I heard something off towards the red rocket. We're okay for now. Let's just start to slowly make our way up. Keeping those wits of ours about us. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, that was nearly enough. And that is. We've got more than enough ammunition here for us to not worry too much about that. As always, we need to be aware of our weapons conditions as we are using them. But it's not that big of a deal for me. And I think that's something that's frustrated a lot of players playing this. But after playing through things like dust and frost, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> it's totally fine. I've found those experiences much more brutal and unforgiving. So, with that, let's see if we can't actually find a way into this little walled off area of the town that seems to be occupied by the Scorched. Okay, that's our way in. Lights on. Let's see what we got. Uh, I just want to have a quick look. Um, hmm, I can't see our throwing knives right now. They will be under here, though. We've got four left at this stage. Okay, well, we'll try as best as we can to make them count so that we might actually get them back, but... No promises. There we go. Still doing work for us. Okay, it's not a person, I think. I will be wanting to go upstairs. I just kind of want to clear this area first. A lot of verticality here. We could have folks above us. Let's see. Take both of those, thank you. Let's just move around. Ooh, how lovely. Uh-huh. Up or down? Down, I see. I see you more than one of you. Oh, that's a miss. Unfortunate. Come on. Where are you? Damn. That was a little early. That's my bad. Oh. Got one over towards our right-hand side. And two here. Ah. Difficult to get you around this wood. There we go. Nice. How are we looking here? Let's reload. Keep those eyes of ours open. I think you're on the other side of this, so... We don't need to worry too much just yet. Ooh, nice. Okay, we got a bench. And we got a throwing knife. Wow, we got a... We got a fair bit from you. Confused growl. Yeah, I feel ya. I feel ya. <laughs> okay, stim packs as well, and a sharp baseball bat kind of want to take a look at the sharp baseball bat because that could uh, serve as a new melee weapon for us. Frag grenade on the radar. Had a bad time, huh? Okay. Let's just uh, grab what we can over here for now. I will be going over there. Don't you worry. Three away round. I think I actually didn't read that plan there, so let's just quickly try and do that before we go any further. I believe they are going to be under notes. Recipe. Okay, glowing fungus puree. Ooh. Ooh, did we do that to you? I think we did. Yeah, you lost your head. You've got to stay focused. Okay, what have we got stashed away in here? Well, we've got a cooking stove for one, so we kind of have most of what we need in this space, it seems. Okay, let's have a look at that uh, baseball bat real quick see what that's gonna look like for us uh where are you sharp right 48 damage that's good i mean it's slow 
but it's a lot better than the machete. So we're going to go ahead and, yeah, we'll remove this as a favorite. Sharp baseball bat is our new best friend. Let's just have a look at this thing. Oh, yeah, nice. And that's a, uh, yep, good old swing. Hell yes. Okay, golf club mace. It's a modification, some duct tape as well. We still don't have much in the way of adhesive, but I'm going to have a look and see what we can do at these benches here. So we are going to want to keep one of these new pipe revolvers because this is a level 10 weapon. We can see how better or how, how much better it is than our current ones. So we'll scrap our one. And uh, yeah, I know it's favorited. Scrap it. It's okay. It's okay. And we'll keep this one here. So you're gone. Straight a machete, you're gone too, I'm sorry. All right, yeah, I think we're gonna wanna try and make a whole lot of this new leather stuff, so time to get to work. So I think something that I wanna try out with melee weapons is instead of a whole heap of damage, I think having speed is what we're gonna want for Akira. She was always good with knives, so we're gonna go ahead and make a combat knife. We're gonna use that as our primary melee weapon. As for our throwing knives, we're gonna go ahead and make uh, yeah, we'll go, we'll go make the whole lot. 21. And I feel like there's no point in us really trying to upgrade the hunting rifle at the moment. I think we're going to spend some more time with the pipe revolver, if anything. And we are going to need to repair it. Unfortunately, we don't have the repairs, but I do have one repair kit at the moment, which, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and use. Get that back up to full condition. Yeah, so. It's pretty good. It's nice and fast. Just a good old, like, little poke. That's what we're going to want, I think. Well, I think. We are going to keep this out, you know, as uh, that's going to be faster in terms of our reactions. Although, at the same time, nah, let's go for that. If we need to, we can use our throwing knives. It is our forte. It's what we like to do. And I think for now, before we go any further in... I want to head back into this building and go up to the top in it because we didn't really get a chance to do that. So let's just make our way back around here. We checked you out. That's not a problem. Yeah, let's head up these stairs. See if we got anyone up here. No one up here, but there's certainly things here. So let's get loosen. Ah, there we go. Adhesive. Always, always happy to see you. We've got some spices and some pepper, some crispy squirrel bits and I guess we got lucky with this there's some arrows in it yeah okay nice I will take that thank you and everything else that's here in live fire training exercises let's go ahead and play that as we're having a look around everything else that's here there we go and play Sutton I grew up here seems kind of quiet lonely well, it ain't as lonely as you think. This place crawls with ferals, and ferals is why we're here, Rook. It's time for some live fire training. Ferals? Those things give me the willies. All that hissing and rasping and jumping around. Then you remember that they used to be folks like us. Oh, no. What are some of them are my relations? Or, I mean, they used to be. Get your head in the game, Rook. Quit making these things out to be more than they are. We all come from around here, and we all had families and homes that we lost when the bombs fell. Sutton's just a place the airport's home now. Get ready. I'm gonna make some noise and draw them out. Remember your training, and you'll all do fine. No, Lord. Please forgive me if any of these things is a cousin. Huh. Okay, so they very well could be the first responders, or they could be folks who took the first responders out. We don't know just yet. Uh, before we go any further, though, I do want to have a look at what we just got. The t-shirt and slacks and stuff like that, because I like seeing our armor. I'm hoping that one of these will be just something that's underneath rather than something that's going to take over everything. So casual outfit, uh, unfortunately not. And t-shirt and slacks, same deal there. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay, well, I guess we're just going to have to leave those off for now. Yeah, tis a shame. I'm hoping we'll find something else other than the vault suit to wear underneath our armor. It looks like we might have already been noticed here, so let's just uh, go a little slower as we start to move around here. We aren't doing our silent sneak, or rather the slow sneak at this point, so 
We are certainly more noticeable. Probably up here if I had to take a guess. It looks like we've got an old church, mausoleum, something like that over here. Which we could have a look at before we, yeah, head to the rooftops. Let's do that then. Let's also just be a little wary that there might be traps around here. Gotcha. Okay. Oh yeah, repent. I see, I see. That did not go well for anyone that was here. Uh-huh. There's a scorched around here somewhere. Could be down here, actually. Let's just go slow. Hmm. You're close, I know that much. But I don't see you just yet. Maybe up there. We'll get to that in time. First of all, let's go through here. Getting lots of glass. Oh! Lots of glasses. Did you all drink something? You did. What did you drink? Whatever's up here. I see. And it looks like these are probably people that died after the bombs fell. Yeah. Take that bowie knife as well. That might actually be better than the combat knife. We'll see. Um, we're not going to take these pictures because, um, yeah, I don't know how long poison sits in the bottom of things, but this is looking like some kind of mass suicide if I had to take a wild guess here. The previous residents of Sutton. Someone was living okay up here. Pastor's vestments. I kind of love the idea of us rocking those. Okay, we're going to go ahead and equip them. Uh, and I'm assuming, yeah, it kind of takes over everything. But it's a, it's a look, Akira. We'll stick with that look for now. Oh, not a usable bed. The mattress is slightly off. But it's an impressive bed. And there we go. The leader's journal. And some patrolman sunglasses. We'll take them, but we're going to stick with our ones for now. What do we have here? I can't believe how these people are responding. It's even better than I imagined. It's so much easier than trying to round them up and kill- Oh, this is the guy from last time. Okay, it's so much easier than trying to round them up and kill them for their stuff. I just need a willing fool to do most of the work for me. There's more every day. Maybe, uh, Yves or Margaret? Oh yeah, I should go with Margaret because no one will- Ditch me for an old lady. Eve might be able to outstrip me with uh, that silky pompadour and easy smile. I should get him to shave it off. <laughs> Always with the questions, Margaret. Well, I have bad news for you. Nobody who asks that many questions is ever going to actually prop... Is ever going to... Oh, self-actualize properly. Unless they learn how to clear out the barriers that cause them to stress... Or such stress. I'll let her know privately that I think she has a serious problem and that will only loyalty can help her work through it. Maybe she got betrayed in a past life and that's why she's unable to trust. It's perfect. Margaret found me wearing a new recruit silk pants and she's beginning to suspect what's going on. I just have to keep appealing to her vanity so that she can teach the new people the ropes that and smile beautifully and say profound things so that everyone remembers who is holy and in charge. Not that shrew. Nobody's following a shrew into enlightenment, Margaret. Okay. Who knew religious people could be so sanctimonious and oh, about silk and pants? Nobody cares, Margaret, but she's convinced that she's got me figured out, that I am corrupt. I told her that I would step down for my ne oh, after my next sermon, where I can confirm her as the new leader. It's all I could do to keep her from outing me in front of everyone, like a complete hag. I've got her fooled, though. I can still make it out of this with all the good stuff. Oh, I didn't think it'd be so awful. No wonder they use it on rats. It's terrible. I have to go. I... I can't be here with this. The smell. 
I'm sure I can find another group that needs my help, just like this one. I just need to find a better way to get... Oh, better way to end things next time. Smell's not gonna go. I may as well. Rat poison. Yeah, so it's the same guy who was down in the order repair shop, I believe. We'll take that pipe pistol, thank you. And anything else that's useful here. Well, Margaret, good on you for figuring that sod out. But unfortunately, it seems like it was a little too late. Yeah. All for silken pants. I suppose people have killed for less. And for more. Okay. Back into the town for now. Ooh. <laughs> and up towards there. Uh, all right. Well, is that a... That's a plane. That's a plane. An engine. Jesus. Okay. 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 Let's get to a stabbing. And I do like the faster attack speed here. Just, um... Stop running. Oh, holy one. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That's kill. Okay. Well, your bullets weren't as effective from that far of a range, it would seem. <laughs> yeah, we're fine. Actually, you know what? If we get the chance, I would like to try and drink some Brahmin milk. We've got a little bit of um, rads at the moment. Let's see, do we have any on us? We do not, unless it's called something else. No? Spoiled Brahmin milk. Oh wow, the rads from there are a lot higher. Okay, well that's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. We'll take your meat for now. Actually, we probably don't need to be taking so much meat. We're doing okay in the food department at the moment. Some of our soups seem to last a decent while. So I'm not so concerned with that. Wonder glue, wonderful, and anything else that we can take from here will be good. Thank you, thank you. You too. All right, sealed wonder glue, and just it's so peaceful. <laughs> Rather, the music is so peaceful in comparison to the uh, the dread that we sometimes feel. Ain't that a thing? Well, let's hop back out try and work our way up towards you, see if we can get our knife back. And I kind of want to try and top off our HP if we can, so let's just go ahead and have a soup. Oh yeah, we started getting thirsty already. So let's see what we got going for us at the moment. Ideally, we will be using a soup of some kind. If not, we'll just have uh, some ribeye steak maybe. Yeah, that's going to fill us up nicely. Uh, we'll wash that down, maybe with a nuka cherry. And... Any other teas or anything else like that that we've still got? I'll just have that as a little snack. Canned coffee? Oh, that's a lot of AP. Maybe a little bit more than we actually want to use. Let's see here. Knock back some of that bubble gum. Ah, there we go. Soot flower tea. There we go, and we'll drink the rest. Excellent. We're good to go. So let's get gone. Got a few people up here for us to, uh loot through. Ah, oh, maybe not you. But you, sir. Ooh. <laughs> Two fragmentation grenades. Okay. Yeah, the raiders didn't fare that well against the Scorched. Caught off guard, maybe. That's a surprisingly well-preserved house. And with light still on as well? Color me intrigued. We are certainly going to want to check that out before we uh, leave Sutton behind. Guided meditation. Well, we, we will not be meditating today. Not for something that's level 25. Thank you. Alright, now I'd like to make my way across there, but I think we will just see if we can... Ah, I think the only way to there is jumping across here, which we will do. But not before we've, uh, gone across here first. Yeah. Back down we go. And around. We'll take everything else we can. Lots of frag grenades from this place. And there will be instances in which it's going to be smart for us to use those. 
Oh, here we go. Welded strengthened radar left leg. It's not in great condition and we've got a plan for a sickle. So let's go ahead and learn that plan. It's going to be under notes. Let's see. There we go. Plan sickle. All right. Good, good, good. And let's have a look at our armor real quick. Okay. Uh, only level five. It is actually a little bit better than what we're wearing at the moment for damage resistance energy. Not so much. Uh, we'll chuck it on for now. Ah, it was our left leg. Right, but uh, yeah, we'll let that get worn down. And if it breaks, it breaks. Hello? Hi. I, I, I swore, <laughs> I really thought that was a Supreme shirt for a second then. Hype beasts in 76. And it's real peaceful now. Once everyone's dead, eh, Akira? Hmm. Very peaceful. Okay. Back over here. Let's see if we can get our knife back from you. And it looks like we can go inside there as well. Take it. We'll take those. No knife, but that's okay. We can make them easily enough. And uh, I kind of feel like we're probably never going to have enough of them. Maybe 40 would be enough. Sounds like a decent number. Oh, and that just leads us around here. Okay, so let's go make our daring leap across the rooftop before we head up towards this mysterious house here. Okay. Easily navigate our way back around. Let's put that knife away for now just so that we can go for a full run. Can I get up into you? <laughs> I okay, look. Weird way to describe it. I want to try and see if we can get into that, uh, that bell tower over there. But we'll do this first. All right, Kira, here we go. And jump. Okay, we probably didn't need to jump, but we landed without taking any damage. And, oh boy, adhesive. That's the treasure we like to see. Doesn't need to be ammunition. Doesn't need to be anything too wild. That's, that's enough. And, oh, yes, we can unlock it. Unfortunately, that other safe was another two pit lock. And I will figure out exactly how we're meant to do that. And I'm sure many of you will be shouting at me exactly how I'm meant to do that. It might just be a level thing. It might be something that we have to come back to. But let's get this open for now. Unfortunately, we still lost one pick lock there. But, okay, that's looking all right. And let's have a quick look at that new arm that we've just picked up there. Five and two. Okay. It's kind of the same deal. Yeah, we'll go ahead and put the Raider stuff on for now. I don't mind wearing that down. And yeah, we'll make our way towards you. But I do want to have a look at that bell tower first. So let's find a safe way to jump down from here. Or whatever is safe enough. Looks like it's going to be back out this way for now. And down. How about that? And here we'll just... Hop, skip, and jump around and see what we can find. Right, I, uh, yeah, I don't think we're getting up there. Just having a look at this here. I mean, we can see into it. But I don't see a way for us to get in. Even up there as well. If we could get onto the roof, there's no broken wall or anything like that that we can go through. So, yeah, that ain't gonna happen. That's okay. That's all right. We don't have to get into everywhere. But I do want to get into this home, if possible. Yeah, that's looking... Occupied. And it's actually a location that we can unlock on our map here as well, it would seem. So let's see who's meant to be here. I was making sure there wasn't another level to that there. No hollow tapes or anything like that. Overseer's home. Okay, oh, we said this was her house. That was her family home. Ah, I see. Well, thank you, Pip Boy. Yeah, kind of looks like she might have been here for a little while. So, Akira, I feel like you were out <laughs> for a little, little while longer than you might have thought. I'm hearing footsteps. Okay. Oh, well, maybe it was just that. I hope she doesn't mind us uh, stealing her gnome. 
Just been cracking a few beers out here. Yeah. Okay. Welcome. Welcome indeed. Well, if it looks like she isn't here, we will take things that are useful to us. Because, uh, yeah, she might not be coming back then. Oh. Is there? There is. Fusion core. But we can't take it out. Jangles the moon monkey. Is she gonna miss it? Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe she will. Let's go in through the back door for now, just to be safe. Yeah. A security camera. Oh, it's instanced. Okay. Oh, thank God you're here. I almost... I was... It's just so good to see you. Not expecting this. Let's talk downstairs. Cozy as this place is, there's... Someone I'd like you to meet. Huh. We really went overboard with this place. Feel free to look around. I was not expecting to find her. Um... Yeah, I feel like this is new. I feel like this is definitely new. I mean, she's got a cool look about her. She's definitely a survivor. Well, Akira. <laughs> okay. Hot damn. Well, I'm glad we didn't take too much stuff then. I, I was not anticipating her to be here. Quite the sev setup down here. Davenport? Hello? Ah. <laughs> uh, Let me introduce you to Davenport. He's been helping me with some reconnaissance. Please tell me he just says Devonport. Eye on Appalachia. <laughs> ah, so damn it! Good to meet you. The overseer has been so excited to see everyone I'm again. Sure. Once you've acquainted yourself with our new arrivals, I may have some field work for you. Uh, I couldn't huh? pull this place off without him. Let's talk. Sure. Let's have a chat. <laughs> okay. I know you have questions, and we'll get to them. I have an important mission. But you're just not ready. It's too dangerous. I can't in good conscience send you on it. Huh. Before you do anything, you need to get, get inoculated to against okay. the scorch disease. <gasps> You've seen what it does to people. Get inoculated, right. Dr. Hudson was working on a cure. Her research lab was in the Morgantown airport. That should get you started. Right. Is there anything else you want to talk about? No. No, that'll... That'll be all. I've... Gotta go. Stay careful out there. Together we've made Appalachia safer. But she still has fangs. Ha. Huh. Yeah. Okay, wow. I was not expecting this. Um, yeah, this is obviously something that has happened, like, later in the 76th story. So, huh. Ha, 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 ha. Okay, right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and knock some of those things off, uh, just so that we don't have them on our screen. But it sounds like we are going to be heading to the airport. Maybe we'll learn more about the Overseer along the way, but it's strange to be able to put a face to the voice now. Hmm. Okay, and so, with the, uh, ooh, morning now arriving, I think before we head out of Sutton and down over that way towards Morgantown and the airport that's there, I want to head up this track here because there are a number of railways throughout 76 and they're going to be important locations for us to have. Yeah, there we go. So let's start to head in that direction. See if we can't uh, at least unlock that on our map. And for the most part, fast travel is something that I'm going to be using to a minimal extent. Uh, yeah, because I feel like you get a lot from traveling across the world. And uh, while I might just kind of skip through it so that you won't have to watch it, I will be... What's that over there? Hi, <laughs> I need to be more aware. Um, yeah, I will still be going through those processes myself. There might be some rare instances in which we use it, but it'll be few and far between. For now, though, let's see what we have up here. Big old choo-choo train on our compass here. Yes, I am an adult. And another gnome. 
Well, hello. And vodka. Empty, of course. Sutton Station. Okay, well, let's see what we've got going on here. We've got these friends. And punch card machine. Manage special. Ammunition vending machine. And we've got a legendary exchange machine. Okay, well, we don't have any legendaries to exchange, so I don't think we'll be doing that. Medical supplies. Nuka. Nothing in there. But, uh, yeah, we can do a fair bit of trading at these things, it seems. If we do need some more medical supplies, we're going to be good there. Ammunition, hell yeah. And we can even use our stash, which we'll go ahead and use now. Whoops, hang on. There we go. Let's go ahead and just store whatever junk we've got. And I think we're up to 190 now in terms of our carrying capacity. Hell yeah, there we go. Uh, do we want to have a chat with you? Wait, Raider? Vendor bot Raider? Previously owned loot. For huh. sale, mostly blood free. Yeah, sure, about that. Um, let's maybe have a look at using the station back there, see if there's anything new or different that we're going to be able to make, and, uh, yeah, we'll have a look at chatting with this bot. Ah, we've got the Herald Supports Quinn Carter. Right, okay. Senator Blackwell. I mean, sure, we'll, we'll take it. Uh, and I also want to have a look at this as well. Ah, there, okay. So, we do have these different marked points on the map. And I believe, yeah, we can add them to our own map. So let's go ahead and add all these stations on here. Just so we have a little bit better of an idea of where we are, where we can go and whatnot. Sunny Top. Watoga. Yeah, cool. I think we've got all of them for now. Well, it does look like we're going to be able to make a fair bit of fertilizer, so for the purposes of us getting some more experience from crafting, we'll go ahead and craft that all up for now. We can just make some basic gunpowder, but I think we're okay for now. Let's see what we can do over here at this uh, vendor bot. Reminder, any ejected yes. five-finger discounts sure. will be reclaimed. Uh -huh. And paid for with said fingers. Yep. Trade police. <laughs> okay, let's see what we have here. Okay, Fear so we sold off a few little I bits and pieces. Uh, I want to go ahead and just scrap our junk here. And we are going to uh, store that and get a little bit of a move on. I just ended up selling some of the apparel that we're not going to really make use of. So let's get those stashed away for now. And we're going to hit the road, making our way back down through Sutton. And once we reach the other side, I will peck on back up. Alright, so we have made it to the other side of Sutton. And we're pretty much going to be following this railway the whole way along towards the airport and towards Morgantown as a city. It does look like there is something that's kind of along the way here. We do have these two other points, Slocum Joe's and Gawley Mine for us to have a look at. We might end up having a look at this as well before we wind our way down towards uh, the train yard that's there and all the rest. So yeah, we're going to start by walking along this stretch until we reach Slocum Joe's. And it looks like it's going to be relatively peaceful, so I think we should be able to advance time here. Huh. More vertebrates in the air. We've seen some Brotherhood of Steel on the ground. We haven't seen them land or anything like that yet, or seen a actual settlement that they're holding on to. Still don't know what their real purpose here is just yet. And so instead of actually just cutting, I think we might just go ahead and speed up as we make our way along here. So, let's get a walk in. It looks like we've got a little bit of a standalone house here. <sighs> and a settler. So, in instances like this, when it does look like the place is occupied, I'm not going to loot them. Yeah. Especially when there's kids there as well. Jeez, that's a strange sight. I mean, sure, Akira would have seen some kids in the vault, but seeing them in the wild is even stranger. The idea that 
kids could be surviving. It's very different than her experience in the Commonwealth. Maybe things are better out here. We'll see. Well, that didn't take us too long. We've made it to Slocum Joe's and we're already hearing some activity here. We've got some opossums, which supposedly are neutral. We'll see. Is that your fire cap then, huh? Hmm? I mean, there's a lot of them here. There's a lot of them here. <laughs> okay. Well, there's one way for us to really test this out. You just gonna let me walk on past you, huh? Yeah? I know that's your fire cap. I'm not gonna take it. Don't you don't you worry. Don't you worry. Okay. We'll give them a little bit of space here. We don't have to kill them. We won't. But we do want to make it into here and if they're going to stop me, well, then we're going to have a problem, aren't we? I'm going in there. Possum. We should be a little bit cautious because we did hear someone firing their gun. Oh, it's you. Taking care of the possum, huh? Looks like it might rain later. Yeah? You've got some fantastic sense of weather, friend. It is pretty clear out right now. Hmm. And you know what? We're not actually seeing a way in at this stage. It's barricaded. All right. Maybe we can find another way in here. Let's see. Not all that much here in the way of junk. Ah, here we go. Something. And an advertisement for the wayward. Okay. Is that where you're living? Or is this someone else's uh, stuff? Justin's note. We'll have a read of it. See if we think that it is Justin outside. Oh, took your pencil. Sorry. <laughs> what have we got here? So it finally happened. What the government and the news kept saying. Giant war. The bombs, the missiles and stuff, and a lot of people panicking, trying to get into Vault 76. It was pretty crazy out here for a while. They got separated from everyone, my friends, my family, but it's alright. I'll find them again. Someday. I... No, Christian and the others can handle themselves, so for now it's time to go exploring. West Virginia might be a little wilder than it used to be, but nobody can handle those country roads like me. Ah, so, it's probably not the guy that's outside. So for that reason, we are going to take some of the things that are in here. Justin, I might imagine, has moved on from here. Yeah, as much as I would like to sleep for a little while and get some extra experience. Sleeping on the ground does lead to disease, so we're not going to do that. We're just going to go ahead and do some scrapping. All right, so I think that might be all there is to this. Ah, uh, I am wrong. I am wrong. We can get up on top of it. Oh, oh, hi. <laughs> just, just chill, buddy. Just chill. We're fine. We're fine. I'm just going to go through what's up here. I'm not going to take any of your food. Just taking stuff that you're not going to like. You're not going to eat that fuel tank. See? We're fine. Yeah. We can get along. I'm going to go over here now. I'm going to turn my back. Yeah. No, I'm not going to turn my back on now you. Now that people have come back to this area, they'll all want to be setting up places like Foundation. Foundation? Ooh, where's Foundation, huh? Bobby Pin Box. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, we're okay. We're getting along. And some more petrified bodies. Still unsure what the source of those bodies are. What's petrifying them. Or if it, like I've said earlier, it's just an, an advanced version of the scorched. Oh, I'm sore all over. Building this place up is hard work. Uh, I'm sure it is. Well, we're not going to take everything. We've just gone through a few bits and pieces out of here. We're back on the road for now. And I think that's the farm that we're seeing all the way down there. Quite possibly. No, 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 that's actually the wayward. Aha, I see. All right, I know where we are now. So let's go ahead and hop back on the railway. Continue a little bit further down. I think there's a mine. Gawley mine. Yeah. Let's uh, have a quick little loot of those bits and pieces here. Damn, what happened to you two? There's a burnt book. Arms around each other died down here. It wasn't the bombs that did it. 
So what else killed them? Just embracing each other by a tree. Hard to know. They've been there for a long time. Anyway, let's carry on a little bit further. Looks like we've got a miner here. You know what? We don't even need to speed up. It is right here and... Hi. Well, aren't you an interesting critter? You are glowing. So that's usually not a great sign. Oh, you're, you're sparking. You have electricity. Okay, I tell you what. Just for safety's sake, I'm going to throw that at you. Okay. Glowing meat and frog eggs. I mean, sure, we could do with some frog eggs. Yeah. Why not? And, ah, we got a scorched all the way over there. Scorched wanderer. Okay, you. I'm going to see if we can... Whoa. Instant transmission. There we go. Got you just before you started walking away. All right, that's a little, a little spooky. I'm probably not going to want to try and stab these frogs with a metal blade. But I'm happy to uh, throw things at them. There is one around here somewhere that we can't quite see. Uranium ore? Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice little extra. What might we find in here? More uranium? Can't exactly be the healthiest thing for us to be carrying that with us, but you know, I feel like a carrot is already hyper radioactive in everything that she's been exposed to over the years. She is no normal human now. Mine coal in Gawley Mine. Um, only if I want to. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> I will investigate this mine, though. Are you dead? Well, you're not, wherever you are. We've been cautioned by them. Are the scorched mining coal? Is that something you can do? I'd be impressed. Okay, don't worry. I know, you got your frustrated groan. Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm far from it. Well, I'm making assumptions. Maybe we're not far from them. We do have to get inoculated against them, it would seem. Some distant gunshots. Could be back at the uh, other place. Oh, two of them. Ow. Hey, 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 hey. Excuse me. Oh, come on, that was close enough. There we go, got you leaning. And there's another one around that corner as well, I think over this side here. Yeah, I can see your leg, but I can't see you. Sun's kind of blinding me at the moment. There's a few of them dead here. That wasn't me. Okay, where are you? Oh, you're above us. I see. Well, we'll just have to... Oh, we can actually see you. Ah, there we go. That's our perception working for us. We can see you on our Pip-Boy. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and throw this into the wall. Hope that we can get it back. There we go. I'll grab you as well. Thank you. And we'll deal with you before too long. Don't worry about that. I'm just not going to worry about it right now. Oh, wow. We got over-encumbered real fast there. I guess we do have quite a few rifles and other bits and pieces on us, so... We'll keep that in mind. I'm not worried about her, though. Let her just kind of stomp around. <laughs> that makes me nervous, though. Not exactly looking to get blown up. What do the rest of you have? Aha, uh -huh, another shotgun. Don't mind if I do. Damn, quite a few shotguns, actually. All right. Good stuff for us. We very well might want one going down into the mines. Imagine there's not going to be long stretches through which we can line up shots. No sign of her yet. Very encumbered now. Oh! I think we had a bonus before. Because our, our carrying capacity has dropped down quite a bit. We're probably quite thirsty and it looks like, hey, we've got some nice benches here. So we'll definitely work with that. Poor oh boy. I don't know if that was a shotgun or what, but glad we got you. Short hunting rifle. Okay. Um, sometimes we don't pick up what they were carrying. I know that's meant to be a thing, so 
Yeah. It's not always going to be a one-to-one. -one. We'll scrap things in just a moment. We'll just go through... Pick up everything else that we can from here. Gunpowder as well. Alright. And, yeah, sure, we'll carry up on up for a little bit longer, but we do want to have a look down there as well. I don't think we've got anyone else here right this second. Some bourbon, hell yeah. You could just start trying to drink that on the go at the moment. And I don't know, does alcohol still get rid of rads for us? We'll have a look at that. Also, ah, have a look at that and... That seems precarious. Yeah. Well, where is this going to lead to? Oh. Nice little setup that you guys have got up here. Yet again. How'd you guys die? <laughs> Was it something in the beer? Not sure. I'm also wondering if we might be able to actually cut that rope. So that that drops down. Let's see. I'm kind of a little nervous about that. I'm going to throw a throwing knife at it. <laughs> Let's just try and shoot it. Let's just try and shoot it, eh? I'm going to say that's probably not what's intended here. Okay. Just wanted to make sure that this thing isn't just going to freaking drop right down. Because that's a uh, death that I'm not wanting. Fragmentation mine? Okay. All right. We're all good. And I will take that, thank you. And those rounds. Good stuff. All right. Um, how are we getting out of here? Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, we can just drop down. That's not too much of a drop. There we go. Fine. Okay. Um, yeah, let's get back down there. Do some looting. And then we'll do some scavenging too. What? No scavenging. Scrapping is what I was going to say. There we go. Yes, please, take all of that. The wonderful good stuff. Over here, lanterns for days. Okay, getting some oil from that at the same time. Steel worker hat. I feel like surely that would give us some um, actual head protection. Is that going to be the case, or is it just apparel still? No head protection. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to keep it on because I feel like that would protect us more than what we're using at the moment. Okay, you're dead too. They've really... They're a fan of their shotguns here. Alright, so let's head up to that bench. We'll do some scrapping. And then we'll see if we can actually use any of these weapons that we've been picking up. Alright, so we are most certainly going to make some more throwing knives. We'll go ahead and make another ten of those for now. I feel like that's going to be decent. Still leaving us with some steel. And the condition of everything still seems pretty damn good. I did go and scrap our other hunting rifle, so we're down to using a short one again. But it is a higher level one in general. So let's see, can we repair this shotgun here? Yeah, it looks like we've got everything we need to be able to do it. We are going to be using a fair bit of adhesive here, but I think that should be okay. As much as I want to do some more modification, I think it's going to be more responsible for us to repair the weapons that we do have here. Maybe we can do something to make that better. Okay, you know what? I think we can. We're going to go ahead and attach these reflex sights onto there. And we're going to go and make it a nice long barrel, which is going to give us more range. Like a whole lot more range. Yeah, definitely. And unfortunately, we can't change the stock right now. I would really like to be able to do that, but we need Gunsmith to be able to do that. Okay, superior damage in general is what we're going to want, rather than the critical, so this is a good weapon. Following up off of that, I think we want to try and see if we can upgrade the shotgun a fair amount as well. We could make the barrel longer, but I think I want to try and keep it short for the time being. There we go, we got our weapon wheel kind of sorted out now. Our secondary weapon is going to be the shotgun. Our primary ranged weapon is going to be this, so yeah. We're going to be heading down on inside that mine now before we wrap up today. I don't know how big the mine is going to be. No idea at all. But we want to make sure that we have something to eat and drink before we go in. Uh, most certainly. Drinking is going to be the most difficult thing for us at this stage, it would seem. So I'm going to have a quick look through, see what's going to be best for us. All right, we've drank a whole heap of boiled water. We're good to go now. Let's start making our way down there and see what's waiting for us inside. Surely it'll be fine, right? In we go to Gawley Mine. Okay. 
So, <laughs> how bad could this be? Yeah, it's fine, I'm sure. Not sure what that sound is. Kind of sounds like it's coming from us, weirdly. Yeah, I think it is. Okay, we've got two things we can unlock here. I think I'm going to unlock those and then maybe head back out through the door and see if we can uh, get rid of the sound. All right, first case, we've got some lighters and scissors. And in the second, we have, oh, a fair amount. I will take all of that, thank you. And we can probably scrap that as well. Oh, hang on. It was gone for a second. Well, I'm going to head back out just in case anyway. Allow me a moment. Okay, we seem to be all better now. Let's hope it stays that way. You're in charge. We are, are we? Carl. You're in charge while I'm gone. Congratulations, and no, this does not mean they're paying you more. Looks good on a resume, though. Supply cage is locked up. Code is on the bulletin board. Double check everything before you close up. Some of the guys forget to put stuff back. Greg. Okay. Well, we'll keep our eyes out for the bulletin board. We are going to, uh, as always, grab everything else that we can from this place, because hell yes. And uh, we'll look at carrying on deeper into this mine. I don't, ha I don't know how big this is going to be. Uh, if it ends up being too big, we might have to do this in stages. So we'll just take the lot that's out here for now. See if we can get into here. Okay. We'll keep our eye out for a bulletin board. I don't think there's going to be a bulletin board in the bathroom. Oh, there is. Huh. But I don't see anything on it. Nope. Not on this one, at least. Okay. Check back around here. Just some plungers, okay. And... Toilet soup? Toilet soup. I mean... Sure. Yeah, okay. Um... <laughs> that's, uh... Interesting. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's have the shotgun out just while we're rocking around in here. Mining lights. Okay. Is that an item or what? We can go deeper that way. Okay, supply cupboard. Not a lot of supplies left in here. That's fine. Looks like we're going deeper in. Okay. We got blood. Well... Something happened here. What? We are not sure yet. Danger. Abandon mine. Keep out. Looks like folks didn't stay out, and I don't blame them. I mean, I want to head in here, and we got a scorched all the way down there, so let's see if we can pop you. We've been cautioned. Of course we have. Let's turn our light off, and just take out these other ones. There we go. I'm perfectly fine with us to use ammunition like that. We've got more than enough of it. We can actually make more as well. When we're in the semi-close range, we will be using our throwing knives. For right now, that's good. And we completed a challenge, it would seem. Let's see who's down there. Oh, I see you. There we go. Nice. Okay. Yeah. So, something that we might notice, Akira isn't all that bad at shooting. She was always pretty good with the crossbow, but firearms for the most part, you know, she had trouble with. She was insane, after all. That thing with insanity, eventually, once you let go, and once you've been through enough that Akira has, uh, you know, you kind of come back around. At least in a way I think you do. Unrefined coal. Okay, so... And that's what we're collecting down here. Alright. And, alright, you're stuck there, huh? Nothing for us to take. So let's keep on moving. Deeper into here, and it seemed the Scourge have, uh, Scorched. Not the Scourged. I'm gonna keep saying Scourged occasionally, because, uh, yeah, that's like from another game. That's from Zealand. And that might be a way out. All is quiet, and we are over-encumbered. 
that's not a problem though. Can we? I wouldn't do that, even if we could, because I feel like <laughs> that's a little close to be making something explode. Unless, of course, it's running all the way back down into there. That's also a possibility. Okay, lighter up. Let's go ahead and play that. Okay, gang, the boss wanted me to leave you some instructions. Oh, sledge. You apparently can't run this mine without me holding your hands. We're gonna light this place up today. The holes are drilled, so just get the dynamite packed in and wired up. Make sure everyone's a safe distance this time. Tommy, you do not touch the plunger. Got it? You're the reason we're down two guys this month. Carl, you're in charge. Don't fuck this up. Well, I don't think they did. I mean, there's still quite a bit of explosives here, so... All is well. We've got a pickaxe as well. So we got two new melee weapons then. We got the pickaxe and we got the... Uh, sledgehammer. Both of which I don't think we're going to be using, but we'll hold on to them for the time being. And I'm okay with us being a little encumbered. Well, we're not a little encumbered. We are over encumbered. But as long as we kind of, you know, don't walk around too much, as long as we have little breaks, we'll be able to manage that just fine down here. Okay, that was a miss. What is that? Is it a shotgun or... Hard to tell. Good sneak attack damage. A trickle of water. And light off. Shoot, that was my bad. Hey there. Oh, come on. That was on target. What about this then, huh? There we go, that's better. No one else for now. Light back on. Looks like someone torched this. Well, that's oil. Or it's just dirty from coal. That that could be the case as well. It could just be dirty from coal. For all we know. Yeah, so part of me wants to go back to the entrance, you know, scrap everything, but I'm thinking more than likely we're going to run into a bench down here at some point and we're going to be able to take this stuff apart. Let's get this footlocker picked. There we go. And, ooh, not bad. Take all those things, thank you. Let's get some more coal over here. Two lots of it. Don't mind if we do plunger while we're here and some bodies for us to loot yes please <laughs> all the more goodness for us brain fungus and uh, let's go grab that coal ah let's go equip that one mining helmet that might actually be something that we use is it I yeah ah, there we go now we're talking okay does that give us any protection it doesn't but it's a new light source for us. Okay, a different one than the Pip-Boy. Less all over the place and more kind of focused and in front of us. I like that. We'll stick with it for now. We'll make our way further in. I'm very glad that we did the modifications to this rifle. It's been very good to us so far. Alright, how's the water in here? Dirty water, it's not radioactive or seemingly not, which is good hasn't been exposed to, I guess, uh, isotopes on the surface. We're okay for water right now, but we might need to grab some more. We'll play it by air. Is this the end of the line down here? Ah, uh, not quite. No, it continues on. Okay. And yeah, let's actually turn that off. It's a little hard to see when there's too much light going on. More blood but no bodies interesting that huh we found a fair amount of blood but no bodies and I don't think it's the scorch that are doing that maybe there's something else down here Akira let's actually go for the shotgun here see how good it is it's okay that hurts a little bit as well got him kill human like creatures I'll take it 
probably don't need to reload right now, but you know. Safety first and all that. Could run into something horrific down here, for all I know. Let's go back to you. Feel a little bit more okay about this. Still in danger though. Okay, a little bit more open here. So we could have a fair few more enemies. We do, we do. Oh boy. Okay, just make sure that none are charging up to us in melee. Ow! Okay, let's go ahead and heal, just in case. We're fine. Still in danger though. Not fine. Okay. Where are you, huh? Let's light off for now if we can. Death indeed. Ah, there you are. Got you. Uh, diluted stim pack is worn off. That was gone for a while. I guess it's just like a nice long slow heal. What was that? Oh, pickaxe. Ooh, you're having a time, huh? Further down there, sounds like. Okay. Alright, alright, and there we go. We got ourselves a bench. Just like described. Okay. Not so worried about this other bloke just yet. So we'll just keep on making our way around for now. Keep our eyes and ears open. I think he's probably down that way, if I had to take a guess. Yeah. I think so. So we're probably going to end up scrapping our things before we go and say hello to him. Anything we can do with you? I don't think so. Yeah, the only bad thing about this is that, wow, it's super bright whenever you're actually close to something. Rat poison? Yeah, sure. Okay, good. Yeah, oh, pack of duct tape. Hot oh, damn. You know what I like. <laughs> you chipping through here? Yeah. Interesting. More wonder glue. Lost for now. Let's get this open. Okay, and uh, yeah, cool. We'll take the lot, thank you. I think it's probably worth us scrapping before we go downstairs. Oh. There you are. Hello. Goodbye. Yeah. We'll scrap and then we'll head on down. Okay. Got quite a few different items unlocked from that, which is pretty cool. So let's just head on down here and see what we got going on. Looks like it goes down a ways as well. I'm not sure how far exactly. I'm going to check that out. Ah, the bulletin board is where we have the code on. We have not seen it yet. Unless, you know, I'm pretty sure it wasn't on the one that was in the bathroom. I'm relatively sure. And you know, it's not going to take that much before we're encumbered again, but, you know, we'll do what we can. Uh, okay, so it doesn't go that far. Are they doing some welding down here? Not sure. Another pickaxe. Uh, you know what? Probably don't need to have so many pickaxes. I feel like we've got enough. Uh, right, so. Not sure what the code is yet. But it does something. Ah, okay. Leads that way. So, let's continue down along that way for now. Let's see if we can't find this original bulletin board all the way down here? No, it's probably back up by the front. Quite possibly. Okay. Opening up again in here. Wow. Very open. Damn. This is, uh, a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. So much so that, you know, I kind of don't want to rush exploring this place. Where is that going to lead? Back outside. Okay. Well, we'll carry on for a little bit longer. I don't want this episode to be super, super long. The possibility is most certainly there. So we'll just have a look around this area. See how far that stretches. 
then I'll consider if we're going to call it quits before we do everything in this space. Nothing hidden up there. And it does kind of look like it just ends over here. Always want to be super cautious of these, as far as explosions go. Um, ooh, okay. Forest treasure map and a plan. We know that plan. We can sell it to players. We can't sell it to bots, I think. So we'll probably just leave that there. We're certainly going to take this map, though. All right. Well, we'll keep it in mind. I don't 100% know where that is, but we might be able to figure it out eventually. Take all of that for now. Not sure if it's somewhere we've been yet or not. If it's something we will see. Okay, nothing else in here. No, so we gotta head back. We've gotta find a way into that uh into that room. So, I'm gonna see if I can find it. The code, that is. Ah <sighs> Yep. I went all the way back to the front and all the way back to here again. And that's our note. 071990. 071990. Okay. Let's go. 071990. 071990. There we go. We are in. Alright, so what are we what are we having here? I'm guessing oh right, that's just gonna close it. Okay, sure. Uh we don't probably need to have that on in here. Okay, some caps. It's like so, so, so far. Grab the tube flange, which is heavy, it would seem. All right, and I think we can still head deeper in. Just making sure that we're not missing anything else. What do we have here? ID card reader. Interesting. What could be down here? We don't know. We're not sure. But one thing that we can be sure of is we have, for the time being, cleared out Gawley Mine. And we've had ourselves an episode a little longer than usual. More often than not, I'm going to try and keep these episodes to an hour. And sometimes that might mean cutting out a little bit more of the in-betweens. Today, we found the Overseer, something that I was not anticipating. And we made a whole heap of friends with the Scorched, trading them bullets. Many bullets. And I'm sure for now this isn't the last we've seen of this mine. If we do find an ID card, perhaps we'll venture back here in time. But for now, that has been our episode. If you enjoyed, please consider leaving a comment or a like to let me know if you enjoyed the show. For now, I have been Rykon. You have been awesome. And until next time.